Assalamualaikum boys. Today we will talk about addition by using big numbers. Now I will explain you how to add when you are dealing with seven or eight digit numbers. It says adding very big numbers is simple. We need to be careful while writing columns and to always work from the ones column first. Now there is an example. Basically it says that whenever you have to add seven or eight digit or the bigger numbers, you always have to write them into a proper columns as we already have discussed how to write a number into a proper formations. We always take start from the ones once, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, and million. Similarly, the next number will come as per the assigned column once, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, and million. By the time I have to add them. Whenever we have to add them, we will take start from the right side. So 8 plus 2 will become 10. So I will put 0 here and 1 will come over here in this column, which we normally call it carry, that I am going to carry 1 over here in this column. So 1 plus 3 will become 4 and 4 plus 5 will become 9. Okay, the next column. 1 plus 9 is 10, so 0 will come over here and 1 will go over there as a carry. So 6 plus 1 is 7, 7 plus 5 is 12. 2 will come over here and again the 1 will be carried to this column. So now 1 plus 5 will become 6. Now the next column 4 plus 6 stands for 10. So 0 will come over here and 1 will go to this column as a carry. So 1 plus 2 is 3 and 3 plus 4 is 7. So that is how you people have to add them. The basic logic and the basic criteria is the same as you supposed to do with 2 digit, 3 digit or so numbers. So now it says that always keep in mind that when we finish adding we must also remember to put in periods correctly whenever you are through with the answer the periods should be in proper columns now the numbers should be into proper periods now the examples which is based on the actual seven or eight digit numbers it says find the sum of the given numbers the three numbers are given, okay. This is basically seven digit number, this is four digit number, and this is five digit number. Now you have to add them. The first number I have written, which is a seven digit number. The second number is basically based on four digit. So every time, whenever you are going to write a number, you always have to take start from the ones so this 4 will come under this 2 as a 1's 8 9 2 and now there are no more 3 numbers so simply I have put zeros over there just to make your concept clear now the next number is based on 5 digits so again I will take start from 3 0 1 4 3 as it is a 5 digit number so I don't have the next two numbers so I simply have put zeros over there. Now what I am going to do is that I have to add them 2 plus 4 6 plus 3 9 okay the next number 3 plus 8 11 1 will come over here and again the 1 will go over to this column as a carry so 1 carry plus this one is 2, 2 plus 9, 11, 11 plus 2 is 12. So 2 will come over here and 1 as a carry will be over there. Now 1 plus 5 is 6, 
6 plus 2 is 8 and 8 plus 4 is 12. Again, 2 will come over here and 1 will be over here as a carry. So 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9. Okay, so there is no carry. This 6 will come as it is and now this 2 will come as it is. So this would be the answer. Now there is a home task. In home task, there are certain questions. You, it says that you have to work out part A, the three numbers are given. In part B, again, the three numbers are given, but with different digits. Part C, it says 4000 more than to this number. 4000 more than means that you have to add 4000 in the given number. D part. 200 more than to this number it means that you have to add 200 into this given number e part you simply have to work out okay boys i think you can do them easily if there is any problem we will discuss it thank you so much have a nice time and allah hafiz